So for most of you out there who have kind of followed my path into the firearms world, you know that I really didn't start shooting till I was about 24 or 25 years old. Um, and I was pretty much a city boy who just fell into firearms and turned it into a bit of a passion. But today we're here with Mr. Bob Holland, who probably had a bit of a different background and upbringing in terms of firearms, well, comparatively to me. So how's it going? Good. Yeah. So kind of tell people a little bit how you came into firearms and just kind of your background in terms of your experience with firearms, the first time you held a gun, first time you shot a gun. Well, not like you, I was a city boy. Mm. I didn't grow up in the country where we use guns every day. So the first time I was exposed to uh, shotguns or rifles was in, was hunting with my dad. Not frequently, but yeah. uh, once or twice a year, the usual Texas stuff, yeah. dove hunting, deer hunting. Mm. Uh, never sat down and really got a lesson on either one, just kind of learned by observation, except basic safety. Here's the safety. Don't don't have a, don't walk around with a loaded gun. Right. That, that sort of thing. Not don't point it at people. Um, so I had a I liked it, but it wasn't a passion, mm. and uh, it, it didn't. It was something I did every day, and I got much more interested in hunting um, in in my professional life. I guess after after college and law school and and things like that. And I had I, I, I took more uh, serious hunting trips. Uh, where there really was an objective. Yeah. And mm -hmm. So that's kind of how it evolved. And in, and for me, uh, in contrast, I my first time going was at an indoor range. First time shooting was at an indoor range with a gun I knew nothing about. Um, and then I, after shooting it, I became fascinated with the mechanism, the mechanical gun itself. Yeah. Like, self-defense really never even crossed my mind at that point. Um, and so I started researching it from being fascinated with the, the physics and the science behind it right. and things like that and having a more aesthetic appreciation for the firearm. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's just interesting to kind of hear the, yeah. the differences yeah. of, of appreciation, even though they meet in the middle somewhere where we're both. Yeah, in a way, I wish I'd had that yeah. because uh, I, I probably would have enjoyed uh, that aspect of hunting more if I mm -hmm. knew more about mm -hmm. it. I didn't at the yeah. time. What, what aspect do you enjoy the most about hunting? It's still being out outdoors. Being it's outside. camaraderie. I, I've hunted by myself mm -hmm. and, and a guide. I have enjoyed that because I end up talking to the guide and learning <laughs> about people from different parts of the yeah. world yeah. and what their backgrounds are. So even if it's just solo, which yep. sheep hunting, for example, pretty much is. Uh, so now, okay, sheep hunting. Because <laughs> yeah. usually when people hear sheep hunting, yeah. they're like, especially people who are kind of anti-hunting, they're like. Oh my gosh, you just go out there and just slaughter sheep? Yeah. Like, explain that. Yeah. Explain the actual, like, process that it takes to actually go sheep hunting. Well, of course, I'm talking about wild sheep, yeah. not That's domestic. what I was going to say. I actually had two sheep, like, when we moved yeah. out to the country. My dad got us two sheep. I'm thinking, oh, gosh, we would never, yeah. like, go home and hunt those two sheep. But this is totally different. Right. It requires some explanation. Yeah. And I, I didn't, again, we don't really have that in Texas. We do now in mm -hmm. West Texas. But most people don't hunt wild sheep in Texas or anywhere else. They're, it's heavily regulated. It's, it's gotten very expensive. There's a lot of reasons people don't do it. Mm -hmm. I got exposed to it, like I said, at those safari club conventions. Okay. And I, 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 because I'd been to the Teton Yellowstone area where they do have sheep, I knew where the, what the habitat was like. Yeah. And it's just the most beautiful in the world. Mm -hmm. so that's the main reason I got attracted to it. But I, but I learned that it's the most challenging kind of hunting too, just, just getting to where they are, mm -hmm. high up in mountains and remote parts of the world where there generally aren't people is unique to, to sheep hunting. And you, and you have to climb really high, usually bad. above the tree line. So you end up in circumstances where uh, you have long shots almost all the time mm -hmm. because they've got great vision and you have no cover. So you can't get close to them. Yeah. And, and you're on mountains, so you're shooting up and down. You've got a lot of challenges that you don't have with sitting at a deer blind in Texas, which I'll still do if I have to, yeah. Yeah. but it's not a challenge. Well, we really thank you for coming out and yes, speaking thank with you. us today. My, My pleasure. pleasure. I think anything we can do to educate people on Absolutely. 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 firearms is, is a good thing. Well, and we'll continue to do so. Thank you very much. All right.